Hello, my name is Dr. Charles Brown. I invented the bioelectric shield. Recently somebody asked me why they can take some readings with a Gauss meter of different devices around the room and then put a shield on their body and the readings from the devices around the room don't change. I said, let me give you an analogy. When you step on the brake of your car, it doesn't stop the planet from turning. It just stops the car. By the same token, when you put a shield on your body, it doesn't stop the electromagnetic radiation from happening all around you. It changes how your body is affected by that electromagnetic radiation. So a Gauss meter is very effective for telling you what the levels of electromagnetic radiation are in the room around you. What it won't do is tell you what the effects on the human body are of those electromagnetic fields. So let's talk physics for a minute. There's a principle in physics that states that energy follows the path of least resistance. So theoretically, any energy that's not as strong as yours has to go around you. We sent the shield off to one of the top three EMF testing labs in the world. Their physicist called us and said, we're certain your shield does what it says it does based on principles of physics. We don't have the equipment here to test it. What you should do is test the effects on the human body of electromagnetic radiation while wearing the shield. One of the studies that was done was using a Hogan CompuFET muscle testing device. This has a transducer that measures the force of muscles down to one-tenth of a pound. Twenty-five different people were taken. They were seated in a chair and they were told to push as hard as they could against this transducer. They then sat in front of a computer terminal for five minutes. They were retested. There was an average of 16% decrease in muscle strength with this. We then put a shield on the people. They sat in front of the computer for another five minutes and they were again retested. They were told to push as hard as they could. This time there was an average of a 44% increase in muscle strength. Clearly we can't do much about the sea of electromagnetic radiation in which we all live. What we can do is take steps to balance and strengthen our body so that we aren't affected by this ever-increasing sea of electromagnetic radiation. If you want to know more, go to the website www.bioelectricshield.com and click on About the Shield.